One of the most anticipated horror films of the whole year is finally here. And what did I think about it? I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and this is my review of. It's been 11 years since we've had another Scream film, and I personally absolutely love the Scream film, so I was extremely excited for this one. So, 11 years into the future now, basically, Dewey, he's the sheriff, Gail, she's this, wishes she could gain on to the tabloids like she used to have it, Sydney. She's finally coming home, you know, once she comes back to Woodsboro, she's got a book, she wants to share it, autographs, blah, 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 living the life. Of course, the second she steps into town, what's this up happening? Cha, 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 here comes Ghostface, killing them all. Now, 11 years gone, is Ghostface even still scary? Let me tell you, heck yes. I absolutely love Scream 4. Now, I'm a huge fan of the slasher genres, hence slasher movie reviews. You know, I love slasher genres, and I scream is the first scream is one of my favorite horror films. I absolutely love it. So then I saw Scream 2, Scream 2, fantastic. Scream 3, okay. You know, I mean, I liked it a lot more than others did, but it's not the best in the series. It's my least favorite. But then Scream 4 comes out, and it blowed out of water. Now, I don't think it's as good as Scream 1, but I think it's right next. I think it's Scream 1, Scream 4, Scream 2, Scream 3. Scream 4 is a blast. It is so much fun. In those 11 years of mist, they basically catch up in everything. All the remakes, all the sequels, all the sequels after sequels. Screams are basically known for what? Their bloody openings, their insane dialogue and their kills and the twist. Let me tell you all that top notch here. That opening sequence is by far one of the best sequences in all the screens. It might even be better than the first. I was laughing my head off. I was, it's fantastic opening. Absolutely love the opening. Then, it, I will admit, it's when it takes off in there, it sort of slows down a little bit. There's a little bit of a pacing issue. Then it immediately picks back up and it gets fun and exciting and all over again and then comes to the ending and it all breaks loose. It's all stabbing and killing and trying to figure out who the killer is and all that stuff. Fantastic and I want to say the cast is huge for this film. Emma Roberts, Adam Brodley. Hayden Panettiere, who I may say was probably my favorite character in this whole thing. She plays Kirby. She was absolutely hysterical. I don't even know the names of the two movie buffs, but they look familiar. I, um, you know, this uh, absolutely hilarious. I mean, the cast is great. I mean, you still got the same old, same old people. You know, Nev Campbell playing Sidney Prescott, David... Arcuetta, Arcuetta, and uh, Courtney Cox, you know, the two lovebirds, you know, awesome, awesome. They're all back here, and honestly, love it. Now, while Scream's been gone, we sort of had our fair share of remakes, torture porn, blood baths, all that stuff, and now Scream comes out, and I like the fact that it sort of stayed in its roots of a 90s slasher film. But it still stays somewhat modern and with all the blood, you know, and the blood is definitely amped up in this film. I guess Ray Wes Craven wanted to make sure his films stayed R. But, um, I mean, and you can tell that even though it's all this, all this stuff had been going on, they incorporated all that into the stuff and still made this film scary and fun. I mean, the Scream 4 simply is a bloody good time. I had a blast in this film and I, I can't wait to see it again. I mean, I absolutely love the screen films. I think they're one of my favorite possible series out there. I mean, I absolutely love them. 
especially one and four I can't wait to get my hands on and watch it over and over and over again and I mean the dialogue is so sick. and screams all about twists and turns I absolutely loved who the killer was absolutely loved it I thought it was so funny and I mean I thought there was so eight different times I thought this film was gonna end and it never ended you know this is it's such a good movie and I mean I absolutely loved it everybody was hilarious um, I mean, but I personally thought Hayden Panettiere did an excellent job playing Kirby. She was personally my favorite, and like, just um, on her humor and her stuff, she was she was great. Um, I mean, like like I said again, the twist is great. The twist is fantastic, and you know what? If this is the birth of a new series, you know, I mean, we knew Wes Craven reinvented the slasher genre. It brought it back from the ground. It brought it back to life. It was reborn. I'm hoping he can do that again with a newer, smaller audience, the more, a newer generation. And I think that's what he was hoping him and Kevin Williamson, Williams, who wrote the fir who wrote the previous one, that's Craven's best films I've seen. And I'm, you know, not saying it's the best, but it's one of the best. So, as a score-wise, let's see, what would I give this? I'd probably give it a, I'd give it a four out of five. You know, it's got a little bit of a pacing issue, but basically everything is flawless for me. I had a great time, and so let's break it down to you. If you if you're questioning whether or not to see it, if you like Scream One, you like Scream Two, thought Scream Three was a little iffy. You know, I would definitely go see Scream Four. You're gonna have a great time. You're gonna love it. Um, if you like Scream One, you, you like you like Scream, you hated Scream Two and Three. Wait till DVD, even though you're probably going to end up still liking it because it's, it's very close to the first one. The second and third one don't really exist much in this one, even though they kind of do, but they're not as much. It's more towards the first one. Um, if you absolutely hated all the screams, why are you even considering it? You're going to absolutely dread this one. It's going to be like the worst movie ever. If you, like me, you love all of them, you better be writing your opinion down um, down below and not saying, oh, I can't wait to see this because you should be there now. So, yeah, so definitely. I would definitely consider checking out Scream if you fall into any of those categories. Um, but, yeah, um, yep. I guess until next time, I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer and you've just been slashed.